Hello and welcome back to my channel. So today I am doing a digital detox. I saw Anna from the Anna Edit do this um, a couple of months ago and I thought it looked like a really good idea to see if I could do it basically. So I thought it's bank holiday weekend, today is the day to try this out. Now we're not off to the best start. I have already had issues preparing for today. Right, I have no way of telling the time other than my Fitbit and my phone. So I have this beautiful analog clock here. So I set it to the right time and it is so loud. Like, I don't know how I'm gonna sleep with this in the room with me. I might need to put it outside. But then how am I gonna know what time it is in the morning to like, oh, I don't know. No, I can't sleep with that. I'm gonna have to put it outside and I'll just see what time I wake up. But I've just woken up, it's eight o'clock as I just had to go and check on the clock outside. And waking up was really difficult because normally I'm straight on my phone scrolling through Instagram, Twitter, YouTube and having a bright light on my face. So I found it very difficult to wake up this morning. It didn't help that I had no idea what time it was so I didn't know if I'd slept in really late or if I was really early and I could sleep in a bit longer. But I'm up now and I have a really bad craving to watch YouTube videos and I can't and it's so sad. So today is going to be interesting and I'm going to take you along with the journey so I hope you enjoy this video. I've just made my breakfast and a cup of tea. I've got Earl Grey tea and this is soy yogurt with granola goji berries, raspberries and blueberries and I'm just gonna chill and read Cosmo but the the temptation, the desire to Instagram my breakfast is real like what a nice flat lay that would make but no I'm gonna go forth and just eat my breakfast without taking a picture of it and sharing it with the world first <laughs> nearly 10 o'clock I don't know where the past like two hours have gone it's so difficult having no idea what time it is like it's so strange and my clock was upstairs and the clock downstairs doesn't tell the right time I'm pretty sure so I had no idea how long I'd just been reading Cosmo so I need to meet Adam in about 45 minutes so I'm gonna get ready and then head over to meet him which we had to pre-arrange yesterday which was fun so I can't text him to be like are you on your way are you here it's just, I've got to trust that we're both going to get to the metro station at the same time. Then we're going to my granddad's house to spend some time with the fam for Easter. And I can't even check what the weather's going to be like. I have to kind of guess. Looks kind of cold, but I don't know how windy it is. Should I wear a dress? What if it rains later and I don't have appropriate shoes on? I'm just gonna dress for the worst and presume it's gonna rain and be miserable. It's also gonna be weird not being able to listen to music on my walk to the metro station and on the metro because I always have my headphones in and some music playing. So I'm bringing my book to read on the metro, which will be nice. Hopefully I don't miss my stop. I am still bringing my phone with me just in case there's like an emergency and I need to bring an ambulance or something like that. It's tucked away in the front pocket of my bag so I can't get to it. Quite nice actually, just sitting in silence. Made it perfectly on time. Adam's not here yet, so hopefully he's on his way. This is Metro Control with information. I've just got back, had a lovely afternoon with family, with my dad, my brother, granddad, aunts, cousins and their baby. We went for a pub lunch for Easter Sunday and we did an Easter egg hunt as well, just for old times sake. Show us your eggs. Likely prehistoric travelling companions. Yeah. You, are you cracked? Yes, you beat a three o'clock tea. Yay! See, so now he goes. You've got Stand. two grand, a famous tiger, a woolly mammoth. <laughs> <laughs> so now my bag is full of chocolate Easter eggs. And we spent hours playing with kinder egg toys as well. You forget how much fun they are. I must confess I did watch a little bit of TV because it was on at my granddad's house and I couldn't really tell everyone to turn the TV off just because I was doing this but I was only there for about five minutes so it's not the end of the world. So now I'm back and I don't really know what to do with myself. I might tidy my room because it is pretty gross. <laughs>
thing that I really missed while doing that was having some music on, but I don't know if you can hear. My housemate has music on and I can hear it, so I don't need to put it on because I can hear hers. Now, I've, well, I've still got the whole evening ahead of me, it's like 10 to 6, so I think I'm going to do some yoga, but that is also something that I would usually use YouTube for. I'd usually follow like a YouTube class, so I'm just going to have a bit of fun and do it myself and follow what my body feels like it wants to do. I was going for ages but that was only like 15 minutes lol. It was good fun though, the only issue is I kept losing count of how many breaths I'd had on each side and what order I'd done things in. It's so much easier when there's someone guiding you even if it's a video rather than an actual person in the room with you. But that was fun. Um, I'm not really sure what I'm going to do with myself now. Might just read my book for a bit. dinner and I've just realised I don't have a timer or any way of telling how long my food has been on. So I'm going to have to use the old fashioned way. Also just realised that this clock is broken or run out of batteries because that second hand is not moving. So having to resort back to the noisy clock although you can't really hear it over the sound of the washing machine. These are a little bit crispier than I intended but I'm just gonna sit here, eat my food with the sound of the washing machine in the background and read the rest of Cosmo. It is nearly the end of the day and I've found this experience very interesting. I wouldn't say it was hard per se, but there definitely were times when I just thought it would be so much more convenient if I had my phone or if I could Google something. Like I'd scheduled a video to go up today and I really want to just check whether it's been published or not because I, I don't trust YouTube scheduling basically but I'll have to wait till tomorrow to check whether it's gone up. I also feel like the day has gone a lot slower, mainly because of how annoying this little ticking clock is. It's so loud. I don't know how people lived when clocks were that loud. Yeah, the day has felt like it's gone a lot slower because normally I'd waste hours just like scrolling on Instagram and Twitter and things, watching YouTube videos, especially on a weekend. But now I've had to think about my time a bit more and although I can while away hours reading Cosmo or reading my book. Feels like it's time better spent because I'm engaged in what I'm reading rather than just aimlessly scrolling and looking at a screen. It was really easy when I was with other people, like with my family, because I was talking to them, I had no need to be on my phone, but it was when I was by myself that I was like, oh, what am I gonna do with my time now? And I have had some pretty Instagrammable meals today and I'm quite sad that I couldn't Instagram them, but I'm sure the world will live without seeing my beautiful breakfast. I'm not gonna say I'm gonna keep this up, I'm definitely gonna go back to wearing my Fitbit instead of that annoying clock and using my phone and my laptop. But I think I am gonna have more kind of tech-free digital detox days because 
or even just afternoons, even just an hour of no tech, I think is really useful to be mindful. That might be another reason why it feels like the day has gone slower because I've been more present in every moment. So I definitely recommend doing one of these if you feel like you're a little bit of a tech addict. It's definitely an interesting challenge to try. For the rest of the evening, I'm gonna have a bath and read my book in the bath because normally I'd have music on, but I'm just gonna read my book. And then carry on reading my book until I'm tired and want to go to sleep. I'm actually nearly finished it. It's a good one, but it's hefty. Like, it, it's a heavy book and it's not, it's not like an easy read that I'd normally go for. So, kind of struggling with this a bit. So this day has been productive for that reason. I really hope you've enjoyed this video and let me know if there's any other challenges similar to this that you think I should try. I saw one that Emma Blackery did a while ago, which was living off a pound a day for five days food wise and I think that would be really interesting to try to raise awareness of poverty and, and homeless people basically. So I'm gonna go run my bath and I will see you in my next video. Please give me a thumbs up if you've enjoyed watching this and make sure you subscribe to watch more of my videos and hit that bell so that you get notified every time I upload. Let me know in the comments below if you've ever tried doing this or if you want to, if this is something that would be interesting for you and if you relate to any of the problems I experience throughout the day as well and I will see you in my next video. Bye!